Hi everyone, Amy Love here, and I came on today to show you a couple of things I've been working on. I've been having so much fun with these, and I was inspired by Carol at Refunction Crafts, and I will put a link to her um, channel below. She has a lot of videos where she alters these little um, tins, and she turns them into necklaces and little pill, cute little pill containers, just adorable so I got myself some because I was like yes to that and I decided I would try making them into ornaments so here is the first ornament I made and I just put this really pretty washi tape around the edges I covered the back with a doily and some bling I put these um, are they called bales at each end and um, so I hung a dangle off the bottom and then put a hanger for the Christmas tree on the top. And then um, on the front, I did put like an applique for the base. This is a printable from uh, Shabby Art Boutique, I think is the name. I don't know. I'll put a link to hers below because I love her shabby Christmas digitals. They make me so happy. And I, of course, stickled up that tree. You know, I had to. And I have got back here an applique from Angel Dream Crafts. And this sweet little um, trio of rolled ribbon roses I got from Juana. Thank you, Juana. And then I added some little pieces of bling. And then when you open it, it has this sweet little seam. So, um... I got these fabric or ribbon roses from Juana. Thank you so much. There's some pearls from Angel Dream Crafts. I backed it with tilde paper. And this, this stuff in here, I don't think I have it handy, do I? It was a little die cut package that I bought and I didn't realize it would be this plastic like material. I don't, I, I lost the packaging. I think it's by Stamperia though, but they're like, um, I don't even know what kind of material you call that. It's like a plastic. <laughs> I don't know. But, um, uh, so I was surprised because I thought they were going to be paper, but it worked out really well. It was easy to cut and it's pretty stiff so I could layer it up. So it's kind of cute. So that is one of the ornaments I made. And then here is another ornament made the same way, just a different um, image. Another one of her shabby Christmas images. Isn't it so cute? And just with a little slightly different take on the inside. Sorry about my phone. It is just going off and I didn't turn it off. But at least I put it on vibrate. <laughs> so then I made two ornaments. So then I took the little um, tin and I decided to make it like a little trinket box. And so these... Are the feet and I'm pretty sure I got that idea from Carol also actually I don't even remember right now but I grabbed a box of these while I was at Hobby, Hobby Lobby when they were on sale they were half off and I um, adhered them with E6000 to the bottom so cute and then added this adorable little lace and I put some rhinestone cup chain which you can also find at Angel Dream Crafts and I used another one of the shabby Christmas images. I printed the images out on fabric and then zigzag stitched them down to on top of cheesecloth and some like um, just white cotton fabric back there. And this applique is from Angel Dream Crafts and I added a little shabby rosette right there. Super cute. And so you can open these up and I just put a pretty paper here and then I put those shabby rosettes right here um, on top of um, another paper. Is that paper or felt? It might be felt actually. I think it's felt down there. And I thought this would be cute. You could store um, some pills in there or you could put your rings in there or just whatever little treasure you'd like and how pretty. How pretty is it? So there's that one, and I made another one of those the same way with the same feet, just a different lace around the edge. 
a different image that of course I have stickled. As a matter of fact, I'm pretty sure I'm gonna go and stickle these roses. I can't believe I didn't do that yet. <laughs> and here's more of that applique from Angel Dream Crafts. And then I put pink um, rhinestone trim on this one and you can also get pink. Is it gonna focus? Maybe not. You can also get pink rhinestone trim at Angel Dream Crafts. Yay! <laughs> And then um, here's what it looks like on the inside. So they're just so stinking cute. I love these. These were such a good time to make. Yes, I feel like I'm getting tongue tied. And here are the little tins. So super cute. And I will put a link, of course, to Angel Dream Crafts Etsy below where you can go get some yummy goodies. And I will put a link to Carol's channel who inspired me to make these little tins of joy. <laughs> So I hope you are all doing well. Please leave me a comment and let you uh, let me know what you think of my little um, shabby chic tins. And I will see you all on the next one.